Ante Perich here, from Cyber Property Investments, LLC. And I'm going to be comprising Crow Holt Building Products. Uh, also soon. I wanted to show you guys the bricks from yesterday. I soaked these this morning. They're still solid as can be. But I wanted to also get you guys to see with the bricks in water. are doing as you see they're very strong i'm able to pick them up uh, we weighed them yesterday i believe it was at 14.6 pounds and uh you know these other ones that didn't have any water uh if i remember correctly were or was it 14.8 and these were at 12.6 uh these didn't have any water uh, it's now the fifth day since I made this batch and uh, I left one of the bricks uh, undone from the house wrap, but I just covered it with the tarp. Uh, these are bricks that I soaked. Uh, and take a look at it. I made that yesterday, so I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do. So I'm just bluntly gonna step on it. My full body weight on the brick. Made one day. Made a day ago. Completely hard. Can't totally I'm going to presume build with it as it is. I don't like assumptions. I like getting actual tests done and completed. And I'm going to show you people how we're going to use this technology to build affordable housing that's going to be better than anything else we built before. It's gonna be stronger, more durable, more sustainable. Uh, we're gonna solarize it. And we're also gonna put uh, solar power for the radiant heating that we're gonna use. We're gonna use like a type of geothermal, but uh, more or less radiant for the heated floors. Um, the reason I wanna do that is since the house will keep a temperature from what I read from all these different uh, writings, publications about a uh, compressed stabilized earth block, since the thermal mass will keep a temperature of about 65 to 70 year round around the house, well, obviously here in Ohio, right by the lake in a snow belt, we get affected. So I wanted to clearly document how this, uh, how these bricks, uh, maybe with a heated floor would suffice because nobody wants to w wake up and walk on a cold floor. Um, therefore, reducing a great amount of energy costs and reducing uh, waste and saving our environment all at the same time. No need for planting trees when we can make blocks from dirt to build houses and save the trees. So... Grabbing many um, different sources as far as information and studies that have been done throughout this, I truly believe that this is the new building technology of the future that's been long established in the past. And with that, I'm going to try to see if I can maybe attach some links in this video down in the description part for you people to see uh, and check out for yourself and educate yourself and with that uh you know you have to understand that uh you know this is for information purposes only not making any promises but based on my experience 
and the results that I'm getting from making the bricks myself, uh, the results are very promising. Um, they're, they're very effective. These are super strong bricks. Um, freshly made, we put them under a hose uh, and they didn't deteriorate. So the stabilization factor is there. Uh, my only question is, how will it last when it's completely submerged underwater for a period of 17 days? Because those were put in water four days after they were made. 21 days is the curing process. Uh, 28 days is optimal. So what I figured to do is keep them underwater for 21 days, pull them out of the water for the last seven days, and then go for the measurements of the tests. Again, a process, but we got four different sets of bricks. We'll, we'll be able to include a lot of variables and find out which proves to be the better brick. So that way the customers and the people who would buy these bricks and use them to build buildings and homes know they're getting the best product. And what I'm going to do in comparison is I'm going to go to a, a, a local merchant here by me, whether that be Home Depot, Lowe's or Menards. And I'm going to grab several of their bricks, um, the bricks that uh, they use. And I could be wrong. So, uh, you know, if I am, I'm just going to give notice right now. I, I do not know whether or not they are fire killed or not. Um, I'm going to presume that they were put in a fire kiln. And I'm going to presume that uh, the typical manufacturing of the bricks was uh, done as pretty much many other bricks in this world are. And we're going to do a strength comparison. Uh, and I'm going to grab clay bricks. I'm going to grab, uh, uh, what are they called? <laughs> Forgive me. I'm also going to grab uh, cinder bricks. And we're going to grab several different types and do a strength comparison. Um, simple tests. Some are going to be me dropping them on top of concrete. Some are going to be uh, pressure. Uh, so we're going to put them in like a vice-like thing that measures PSI. And we're going to see where the brick shatters at, at the PSI. Uh, we're going to see uh, how strong they are compared to your regular bricks. And then uh, I'm also going to grab some of the bricks and I'm going to give you an idea of uh, how this provides a stronger, more stable structure that's going to be durable for many years, many centuries to come. Uh, and with that being said, I'm going to end this video right now and hope you guys get excited because I surely am. So uh, with that, I'm going to keep on educating the people, keep on educating the masses. And I'm going to show you the better way to build a home.